This is the best way to create an insane looking rotoscope glowing outline effect in your next video. What we're gonna cover today is pretty much how to add this insane trippy saber type effect, but only using Premiere Pro. I know everybody's seen the saber effect by Video Copilot, the free After Effects extension that can only be used in After Effects. You can use the After Effects link to transfer to Premiere Pro. But what I'm gonna go ahead and cover in today's video is pretty much how to get the saber effect only in Premiere Pro and use it freely as you wish. So what I ended up finding was I found this YouTube creator by the name of Michael Ponch. What he did was he created a motion graphic template that actually contains contains pretty much everything that you can do in the video co-pilot saber effect and guys he made a link in the description on how to get it it's completely free but if you want to go ahead and support michael you can go ahead and leave whatever you want here's his gum road link so what you do is you'll just come in here and you'll name a fair price you can go ahead and donate to him if you want or you can go ahead and press zero and you can add it to your cart and then what happens is that you'll get a mogart file and you'll be able to go ahead and install it but in today's video i'm going to go ahead and show you guys how to create some dope effects using his plugin so if you're new here Welcome to the culture. I'm dropping new videos every week. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button and turn on post notifications so you don't miss a video. Also, guys, follow me on Instagram where you can stay up to date with everything we're doing. But without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. So I went ahead and opened up Premiere Pro. So you go ahead and open up your essential graphics tab and you want to go ahead and go down to this right corner install motion graphic templates and then wherever you have it installed you go ahead and click glow effects and you'll press install i already have it installed and what i did is that once you have it installed it goes to your local templates folder and what you'll do is you'll just go ahead and click this and you'll just search up whatever you're looking for i renamed mine to saber and just to rename it all you have to do is just right click and then click rename just so i didn't lose it but i'll go ahead and use some footage and show you guys how to create this insane effect i went ahead and grabbed some rotoscope footage that i used ai to rotoscope if you don't know how to rotoscope your footage using ai I'm going to go ahead and leave a link in the pinned video at the top. Just go ahead and click on that video and it'll show you how to rotoscope using AI. But I'll give you a brief rundown. So what I went ahead and did is I visited this website called runwayml.com. They have a free browser video editing software, which allows you to use AI to create some awesome stuff and also rotoscope out your footage. So like I said, go ahead and check out the link. I'm going to go ahead and leave it in the description below on how to rotoscope and then come back to this video. But once you have your clip rotoscope, it's going to look something like this. And all you have to do is just go ahead and scale it up to the frame size and then what you'll do next is you'll go to your effects you'll type an ultra key you go ahead and drag on that to your rotoscope clip go to your effects panel go ahead and change the settings to aggressive and then go ahead and grab your eyedropper tool and then click on the green and then you'll have your clip rotoscoped out and it should look something like this but if we go ahead and hide the background clip you'll see that we have our subject rotoscoped out so just for aesthetic purposes to make it look better we're just going to scale up 10 there and then 10 frames on our background clip so we're going to have something that looks just like that super clean so now how do we use our rotoscope effect well you want to go ahead and navigate to your central graphics tab go ahead and type in saber or go ahead and type in michael Ponch to find your glow effects or your saber effect in premiere pro and then just go ahead and drag that onto your um, timeline and then it should look something like this it should just say glow effects i went ahead and scaled it down to the correct size and then it should run smoothly depending on what computer you're using i'm using a mac mini 2 the m2 chip so it's running pretty well but what we're going to do now is we're going to go ahead and go to our central graphics tab it should see where it says text footage glow effect and fractal settings so what you'll do is you'll go ahead and open up text and then what you'll do is you'll take the text opacity and you're going to drag that all the way down to zero and the next thing that we're going to go ahead and do is actually go to glow effect and we're going to choose our favorite color I went ahead and hit everything just so our computer doesn't lag. If you have like a computer with a bunch of RAM, you know, it shouldn't matter. But just to save time purposes, I went ahead and hid that. So let's just for this one, let's just use purple. I like a purple effect. So for the top color, the glow color, you want to use a darker color. So maybe something like that. And then with your core color, you want to use something that's a little lighter. So probably like that. All right, perfect. So we'll go ahead and hide that. Then you want to go to your footage opacity, bump that all the way up to 100. And as you can see, here's our glow effect. Um, if you don't like that color go back to glow effect and you know make it a different color let's just go a little lighter it looks great like that and then next thing you want to do is go to insert footage you want to go ahead and throw in your green screen clip but once you do that you'll see that it actually looks a little crazy so we'll go ahead and undo that and then what we're going to go ahead and do is just duplicate this clip place it on top and we're actually going to nest this clip right here at the bottom so go ahead and nest that and as you can see preview is just all black and then what you'll go ahead and do is just click on your saber effect again and then drag on the nested sequence into your insert footage and then as you can see the effect is working properly so that's how it looks looks 
kind of crazy right now, but don't worry about that. So what we'll do now is we're just going to go ahead and go into our nested sequence, go to our effects panel. We're going to type in find edges. We're going to go ahead and drive that onto our nested sequence. And now you can see that E turns this crazy white color. So we can go ahead and go back into our clip and see that that's what the effect looks like now. Looks pretty cool. But just to make it look a little better, we're going to go back into our nested sequence, go back to the search panel and type in invert. And we're going to go ahead and drag that on top of our screen like this. And as you can see, it turns into this dark, crazy effect. And then you can see if you preview that, it looks still look a little crazy. Go ahead and uncover the top clip, the top rotoscope clip. You can go ahead and preview what we have so far. So I'm going to go ahead and render this and we'll be right back. So it's done rendering so we can preview what we have so far. So as you can see, there's a glowing purple outline around them, like a little purple aura. That can be a cool effect if that's what you're looking for. If not, I actually have some better ideas that we can go ahead and show you. So what I'll go ahead and do is go back to our effects control. We're gonna go ahead and click invert right here. And then we'll go back to our clip. And as you can see, the glowing outline is a little bit more present. So I'll go ahead and preview that. We'll be right back. All right, so we're back. So let's go ahead and check it out. As you can see, the outline is way more prominent and looks way better. You can also adjust the blend mode if that's something that you want to do. Change it to screen. You can see that the aura gets a little lighter. The saber effect is lighter and it looks really good. Honestly, like I really like the way that looks. Another thing that you can do for a super dope effect as well is go ahead and just hide your top layer. And then you can see that you have this really cool ghosting lightning type effect. So let's go ahead and preview that. So that honestly looks super sick like that. And you can change the color and do so many things with it. Also coming soon, I have a freeze frame slash rotoscope transition and effect pack dropping next week. So be on the lookout for that. Pretty much that's it for this video, guys. If you guys have any questions, feel free to leave a comment down below. Like the video if you thought it was helpful. Big shout out to Michael. If you guys want to go ahead and support him, his link is going to be in the description below. Also, if you need some dope preset packs, you can always visit my website, akbstudios.com. I'm dropping a ton of content on there as well. Help you guys out with your music videos or project recaps or wedding videos or YouTube videos, anything like that. AKB Studios honestly has it all. But that's it for me, guys. Like I said, subscribe to the channel, like the video, drop a comment down below, tell me what you want to see next, and I'm out. Peace.